Hello everyone, welcome back to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at The Giver, Chapter 4. Now in this chapter, it starts off with Jonas just riding his bicycle, looking for Asher. Uh, the ceremony of the Twelve is coming, and the volunteer hours don't really mean so much anymore. So he just felt, you know, I'm just going to spend my last few hanging out with Asher, because that sounds fun. So he's riding around to different places, looking for Asher's bike. As he's riding around, he remembers uh, his friend or his classmate, uh, Benjamin. And Benjamin spent all his volunteer hours at the recreation center. And it was said that Benjamin had known, because he's just spent all that time, four years, um, the recreation center so well that when he got appointed to the recreation center, which everyone was guessing his assignment was going to be at the recreation center, that he wouldn't even have to go through training because he would just be in. He already knows everything. And, you know, Jonas was kind of thinking about that accomplishment. Wow, that's super cool. He never got to talk about it with Benjamin because uh, one of the rules in the community is you shouldn't brag. And so it's hard to talk about someone's accomplishment without them feeling awkward like they're bragging when they talk about it. But he still thinks about that guy. Finally, Jonas finds Asher's bike and it's at the house of the old. And he's like, oh, okay, that's interesting. There's only one other bike there and that's Fiona, another 11 that he knows. So he goes in there and, um, you know, he thinks about Fiona. Maybe he's not that close with her I don't know but he's like yeah she's kind she's nice but she also knows how to have fun so he's going there and he's kind of, he has to sign in and then he's like oh your friends are in the bathing bathing room why don't you go ahead and start there and meet up with them so he goes into the bathing room he changes his um, clothes he takes off his shirt and he puts on uh, some like nurse clothes and then he starts uh, helping some older person, uh, Larissa, um, wash her body. So he helps Larissa into a bathtub and he starts rubbing her body. And we learn some really unique things. One, the old people are all naked. Two, that uh, Asher and Larissa and Jonas are washing these naked people. And three, only newborn babies and old people are allowed to be naked in front of others. And Jonas actually feels really comfortable with this. Uh, he said sometimes changing his clothes for sports was a little weird because if you saw another person naked, you had to go to that person and say, oh, I apologize, I saw your nakedness. And then that person would be like, oh, I forgive you, it's okay. So it was a little awkward. But here, there was so much trust. The old person just uh, laid down, and they're all just naked. And Jonas is just washing her body. And he feels like there's a lot of trust in that atmosphere. And he, he really enjoys it. Larissa starts talking about the releasing that happened earlier that day. And there was a guy, Roberto. And she's like, oh, Roberto's releasing was really exciting. It was really great. Not like Edna's. Edna's who's that oh Edna was a birth mother and she just worked in um, the food production plant her whole life didn't have a family or anything and there was nothing to really share about her releasing she was kind of boring um, Larissa tries not to sound too um, mean but <laughs> she didn't really like it but Roberto's releasing was amazing he was so happy he had done so much stuff there was a celebration uh, there were stories about him. They were drinking uh, some something. There was a toast. Um, Roberto gave a farewell speech. And then he left. And Jonas kind of asks, he's like, well, where, where did he go? Where did Roberto get released to? And Larissa says, I don't know. They just go out the releasing doors. And, and that's it. And... You know, then they start talking about, but the party was so great and they should really let kids in there. I don't know why they don't. 
And then Jonas kind of makes a joke. And he's like, oh, maybe you should suggest it. They'll probably get a committee to study it. And remember, we learned before that committees take forever. And then Larissa uh, kind of laughs about how committees take for so long. And then Jonas helps her out of the bathtub. There was a lot of vocabulary in this in this one chapter, so let's hit it pretty fast. The first one is leisurely. Leisurely means at your own pace, at your own choice, as you as you want. So he's riding his bike, oh, just not in a hurry, not going too slow, just the way he wants to. Leisurely. Invariable, invariable li means usually consistently so the eight-year-olds when they get their volunteer hours usually they spend them at the recreation center because that's the place that they've been most of their time gravitating gravitating if you think of gravity gravity is the weight of things that pull us towards them right things like the earth weigh so heavy that it actually pulls other things to them. And so gravitating is being pulled to something. And uh, that can be a feeling, right? And it could be in reality. So the eight-year-olds gravitate, they go to, they're pulled to um, the recreation center. Rehabilitation is uh, like relearning, re healing uh if i broke my arm ah i would have to hold my arm in a cast for maybe three months or more well when my arm gets healed and they take off the cast i would have to kind of relearn get my muscles back my movement back stretching my arm and relearning how to use it not not because i don't know how to use my arm but because my muscles have forgotten how to be used. Um, my tendons have forgotten how to be used. So rehabilitation helps retrain, heal people's bodies um, and their minds too. I mean, it, it, there could be a, a lot of different stuff. Steer clear. Um, you know, if you think of driving or sailing a boat, if there's something ahead, an obstacle, you want to steer away from it. So that way you don't damage your car or your boat. So I can't remember uh, something, someone should steer clear of some problem or situation. And more vocabulary. Tabulated. Tabulated means like adding or calculating. Um, all the volunteer hours that all the children do are collected and they each have stamps by each of their hours and so when they're 12 years old and they get their assignment they had completed all their volunteer hours and Jonas shares a story maybe it's an urban legend or a rumor that 111 didn't get all his hours and he wasn't given an assignment and he had to actually do his volunteer hours Serene is peaceful. Um, but if you imagine climbing up a mountain, okay, you climb up all the way, you're deep in the mountain, there's no other people around, you hear the birds, and then you're going on the trail and you stop and you look down and you just see this beautiful lake, right? The sun is shining on the clouds and you just stop and you just feel. just feel peaceful serene and um, the I think the old people when they get into the bathtub they look so serene comfortable and peaceful uh, smock is uh, kind of like a nursing kind of clothes um, that you can wear over your other clothes so he takes off his shirt he still has his pants on his socks and shoes but he puts something on over it to kind of cover his body and it goes all the way down probably to his knees. So just like a, a nurse would kind of wear in a hospital um, or even maybe like a garbage uh, man, 
wear some something over his clothes to keep his clothes from getting dirty wears a smock uh, primly is like correctly or properly so when uh, Larissa says something about Edna oh Edna's knife didn't mean much oh that's not to say that life's that her life was meaningless she did good work right she corrects herself to <clears throat> be proper to be controlled and so primly is to uh, describing that action chortled is a kind of laugh so when she says oh yeah maybe the committee can study it <laughs> kind of a short quick uh, kind of laugh the discussion question I have for you okay this is a pretty deep one pretty serious <sighs> we'll just take a moment and think about it right this is pretty deep what would you like people to say about you at the end of your life <laughs> okay that's pretty tough you guys are young but imagine all your friends and family maybe your children are around at your funeral okay I know we don't like to think about that but what would you like them to say about you with Roberto uh, Larissa was like oh it was fantastic it was great Edna she says oh it was really boring and there wasn't much going on what, what is it you want people to say about you save that thought Think about it because we're going to talk about it when we get together. Of course, please write your own discussion question. That's all the time that we have for today. But thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, if you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.